Many different chemicals are used in water and wastewater treatment facilities. While the chemicals used here improve water quality and prevent waterborne disease, some are hazardous and, if mishandled, can cause severe injury or death. This video will discuss some of the common chemicals we use, how to store and use them, and the protective equipment you'll need. There are several ways chemicals enter our bodies. One is through inhalation through our nose and mouth. Chemicals also enter our body through ingestion when we unintentionally swallow a hazardous substance. Absorption is the other route that chemicals take as they enter our skin when we come in contact with them. It's important for water utility and wastewater employees to have an understanding of what chemicals present a hazard and how those chemicals can be handled safely so they don't enter our bodies. Chemical storage and treatment areas should be clearly marked as to the hazards associated with these areas. All chemicals used in water treatment must be properly categorized and labeled as a part of OSHA's adoption of the globally harmonized system of classification and labeling of chemicals, known as GHS. The key to understanding hazardous chemicals is right here, the label. All hazardous chemical labels must be legible in English and prominently displayed on the container. Labels must have a product identifier, a name, address, and telephone number of the chemical manufacturer or importer, a pictogram, signal word, a hazard statement, and a precautionary statement. Specific details of labeling requirements are discussed in detail in AWWA's Safety First Hazard Communications for Water and Wastewater Utilities. If chemicals at a water utility are transferred to another container, the new container should have the same labels and information of the original. For specific details on individual chemicals, employees will need to refer to the safety data sheets, formerly known as MSDS. Safety data sheets, or SDS, must be printed in English and be readily accessible in each work area where the chemical is used. The SDS sheets can be kept in a book as individual sheets or on a computer, as long as workers can access them without leaving the work area. These documents are the primary source and provide the greatest detail about each chemical to workers. The SDS will verify the information on the chemical label, help you determine what personal protective equipment is needed, and tell you if symptoms you are experiencing might be caused by the chemical. PPE recommendations are based on the SDS for each chemical, but should be evaluated by individual utilities to make sure they are appropriate for the utility's established chemical handling processes.